Appliances, yeah, Bashko's got Bashko. it all. Toys and gifts and picture frames to decorate your wall. Stereos yeah. and TVs to this season, it's for Bashko. sure. Bashko. Christmas is affordable at the store that gives you more. Bashko, the store that gives you more. Merry Christmas! Almost. We're, we're almost to Christmas time, and I'm welcoming you to another very wonderful Christmas edition of our Bashko show. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, depending on whatever time you're watching this. Thank you for watching it with us. Now, ignore that. Christmas is a very special time. Christmas is literally my second favorite time of the year. The first favorite time of the year is sometime around September. Anyway, welcome again. We always have a lot in store for Christmas. And as we continue to talk about our Christmas offerings, uh, I'm standing in the Christmas aisle. We went through this before. This is where our Christmas decorations are, of course. But another big part of Christmas will be that, whether it's a gift or for your own home, is you might spend some money, spend some time working on your furniture in your home. You may want to upgrade, change out, add, subtract, modify, anything you want to do. We have you guys covered with a very nice array of furniture items that we have never really had before. So some are indeed Come back in. So before we take you to see the furniture that's over there, I want to direct your attention to a Christmas decoration item that we've never really had before. Up here. So what you're seeing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's call them, well, what we call them is falling star light tubes. Uh, and you can adjust the cycle and how the lights flash, how they move. The little thing in the center is really a set of Christmas tinsel that we sell, guys. Uh, we just did that to give you an example of how you can use it. Here is how the box, how, how the items come in the box. All right, multicolor starlight tubes. So this gives you a lot of flexibility in your Christmas decor and how you like your lights to look for the Christmas time. Now, if you're like my mother, you will buy these by the truckload and find a way to, to make our um, power provider go woohoo at Christmas time. It's a Christmas for them too. But it is LED, so you are saving on that uh, power consumption as well. Pretty nice, just $2,100 for this LED falling starlight tube. Okay, guys? Now, I did mention we're going to go look at furniture. I did mention we have some comeback keens and new arrivals. So I'm going to start right here. So this bedside table and two more that we're going to look over are comeback keens. They're very nice bedside tables, guys. Or, I mean, really, you can use them for whatever you want. This is solid wood. Very, very nice unit. We have two other units we can look at. But I really want to mention these. So we're looking at what can be used as uh, cabinets for your home, whether it be a kitchen cabinet, a base for something. Uh, this actually says it is a water bottle cabinet. Um, so if you have a large water bottle you want to keep somewhere, yeah, really nice, you can store it away. But I just see it as a, uh, it's called a generic cabinet, yeah. You can use this in tandem with the other ones and you make your own little kitchen space. All right, move this one out of the way again. Okay, and we have this one. This is a, another type of cabinet. You have very nice shelves, like a little pole to stop things from coming off of it. These are actually tinsel from Christmas decorations that were packed near it, guys. You know how it goes around here. Uh, you have one drawer, two access cabinets. We can look at this unit, which I suppose you could double this as a maybe a bedside unit, a mini entertainment unit, a TV stand. Again, you have the, the cabinets and the drawer. Pulling this one this away. You see, uh, I could see this really in a kitchen or a, a, like a, a, maybe a, a bathroom or spa setting. You have the shelves which can be for fruits or for towels or for other items. You have your drawer and your cabinet as well. Oh, the shelf on the inside of this one. So that's nice. Right? Now we have this in another color. So I'm going to spin this one like this. And the camera can go towards this and you can see. So you have it, as opposed to the just white, you have it in like a, um, a light brown with the gray slash silver. So that's a really, really nice style as well in that unit. And now we have a chest. Now I like this a lot. This is a, 
It's a very popular style in Latin America and parts of the UK uh, uh, or Europe where you have a, a clean look and instead of using a pull, you just, you know, the, the, the design is built in. So it really is a space saving design. It's also safer for kids so you don't have to worry about them hitting their eyes or their faces on the pulls. For those of us who have children, you know what I'm talking about. If it has a sharp end, if it has a jutting out part, your child is going to find it and hit it. Very good. So you want to baby proof. And these are all very nice. They are not heavy units. They are really, really sturdy for their, for their weight. Um, assemblable, assemblable, assemblable? Easily assemblable. <laughs> and handy, easy pulls for access. I really like this color, I really like this design. And we have this same color, this same style in some other pieces right behind the camera. Like I said, it was right behind you in the camera here. So as you can see from the previous style, we are continuing that whole brown and white theme with the pulls incorporated into the design of the furniture itself. I do not know why I fell into this accent. And we'll open this sign here. You will see a handy dandy shelving unit on the inside for hanging all of your hanging accessories and hangers. Or in good um, Jamaican vernacular, you can hang it up right here on this thing. And okay, so you have this very nice upper storage as well, maybe for folded clothes, towels, what have you. And you very all very you also have a very useful lower drawer. So maybe clothes as well, maybe some shoes, maybe slippers. <laughs> anything you want, guys. If you're gonna pick up this unit, you can use anything, you can use it for anything you want. Alright? But I also like the, the, the design. And maybe just maybe going into next year we should get a little decal that we can stick on the infomercial that says the producer seal of approval she'd buy it she put it in her house bam it's got the palm seal of approval next year we're going to do it you know i'm sorry for you the bam forget forget omar's list and all that stuff it's going to have the bam palm seal of approval she put it in her house you can put it in yours moving on we have another this is the same color scheme the same brown that we saw in the uh, other ones we saw over there. I like this. It's a very modern style of bookcase. I like it. Yeah, this cube style, cube style of furniture, guys, is very in, along with the whole Moroccan tile look for your fabrics. Cubes for storage are in. We also have a, another type that I really like as well, but we'll get to it. So people asked me the other day about the capacity or the ability of these things. So what this is, guys, once you don't see something on this side, come here, let me show you. If when you look at a piece of furniture, you don't see the screw holes on that side, chances are it's dowels holding it in place. That does not mean it is not sturdy. If you want, when you purchase it, there's nothing wrong. You can drive a screw through here if you want, and that's what you, you know, you're, you're competent in that type of stuff. What gives these things stability is the enclosing on all sides. Once you close it in all the way, that's what gives it its stability. Okay? Cool. Continuing down this line, we have this piece. Now, it is called a bookcase. But I would still consider this maybe as a multi-use device, a multi-use, not device, piece of furniture. Because you could use this for decorative stuff. You could have your, your vases, your thing. You could use it as a bar. It's got the palm seal of approval for a bar. Right there, you just put the, the big C, the big P seal, palm seal of approval. This could be a great, great bar. All right, so your, your drinks will go here. Maybe your glasses can go on there. What a lot of champagne right here. All right, guys, please drink responsibly this Christmas. Responsibly. Please drink responsibly this Christmas season. Continuing down the line, this is, matches the white style of the stuff that we saw. And it's also called a bookcase, but you could use this as a kitchen cabinet for you, you want. Your plates, your decorative stuff. I really like this unit, guys. I think it's very classy. Um, Clean lines, this, this is, if you're into this style, that they, it's, it's uh, not curved, it's nice and clean in terms of the lines and the design. You get two drawers down here, you get a lot of shelves for storage. And, um, oh, okay, so these are modular. Want you, come here, come here. These little studs, they come out if you want to take them out, and then you can adjust where, well, you don't have to have an upper shelf in there. And if you come down one level and you look right, where is it? Oh, on this one, come down here. You see a, a type of screw. So how that piece works, and I should have mentioned it on these ones as well, is you have a, a screw that you embed into the wood, that comes out of the wood. You slot the shelf in, and then you tighten that screw from underneath. So even though you didn't drill, <coughs> sorry, you didn't drill a hole through it, you still get stability, and you get 
Um, how do I say this? It can take more weight than you would expect. There you go. Good. Moving on to another piece, again with that same clean, modern line. Uh, no visible pulls anywhere. You open this one from this side, guys. Okay, so you just come to this side, you have access, so you pull it out. And it's a very, very nice piece as well. This would be a great addition to any bedroom. Um, if you don't need a chest of drawers, you could also use this as a makeshift linen. Um, think sheets, comforters, towels, that kind of stuff will go very nicely in here. And the last bit of furniture I want to show you guys, we mentioned the not quite cube style of bookcase is over here. And it is a mix of cubes and uh, rectangles. I'm pretty sure that's a cube and a... Uh, what's the name for it? The, the 3D shape for a rectangle. You can tell me on social media, you guys, because I cannot remember the name for a 3D rectangle shape. So a 3D square is called a cube, a 3D rectangle it's called a blank. Fill in the blanks. But I like this style a lot, guys. This is really nice. So you have maybe books here and then a decorative something here, maybe a picture frame here, maybe books here, and you get that nice feel out of a simple piece of furniture. Good, so that is the continuation of the new line of furniture we have brought in, especially for the Christmas season. Now, if you're talking Christmas and you haven't mentioned toys, then by gosh, you are not talking Christmas. So I'm gonna take you to see all the toys now that we have. Well, some anyway. You have to come, it's over here. So, we started over there, but I had to take the time out to come down here first to tell you that it, at select Bashko locations, we do already have Christmas cakes. Yes, we do. So now's your chance to come and pick up a fruit cake, Christmas cake, whatever you want to call it, for yourself, for your loved ones. We know you guys have some offices uh, and you usually, you know, you bring in a Christmas cake to share up or you have Christmas cakes to give to each of your employees. Come and check us out. We can help you out with those. Now, taking you to the beginning of the toy aisle. And at the very beginning of the toy aisle, we see a very nice artist drawing board. Now, I like this. I'm all about creative play. If you guys have never asked a, um, an early childhood development specialist or a teacher, kids learn best through play. It's the same thing of how we learn best. I mean, you can, you can have a degree, you can have whatever, but you learn best on the job. You learn best in the action itself. So kids learn best through what they understand, which is play. So I really like this type of stuff. And if you are also like me and your children love to make a mess of just about everything, the nice thing about this is that it has its own little storage area for the items that they need to be using. Okay, so um, this will have a, a space to put the markers for the erasers, for the chalk, and, and it even have a, a, a single holder up the top of it for their, uh, the current device being utilized, all right? Uh, I really like this uh, black and white magnetic double-sided drawing board, 360 degree rotation, uh, two storage cups, tray with large area, simple installation, and it comes with a bunch of things. It includes 48 pieces total. This is very, very nice. This will make a great, oh look, ha 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 ha. This will make a great gift for a child for the Christmas season or even otherwise. So this is great. Now I'm gonna put this back. All right, let's put this like this. And take a look at the, the true beginning of the aisle, the shelf itself of our toys. So every Christmas, you guys know how we do this. We make uh, a particular amount of effort to have a lot of different toys um, for, for kids with different tastes, for parents who know that their kids have different needs. We have your indoor toys, we have your creative play toys, we have your outdoor toys, we have your, your dress-up toys, beach toys, all kinds of toys. Because what's Christmas to a kid if it's not about toys in some way or some fashion, right? So let's take a look. We have your baby dollies, we have the Animal Kingdom stuff, which I, I really like these a lot, I get kids to, to think and to play. Uh, we do have the... The dolly with the stroller, or the pram, depending on how you want to call it. Really, really nice. Put this back up. Okay. Continuing down the line, we get to where I'm happiest. I get the, the outdoor play toys. I'm saying outdoor play, even though my brother and I greatly far too often played with toys like this inside and damaged things. So bear that in mind. Okay. 
So frisbees, skipping rope, get those kids active. Get them active. I mean, if you're not having a child active in, and, and you're not encouraging that, then you yourself are doing that child an injustice. All right? You want them to be active, guys. So we have your math toys. This is great. Um, these, are, these are really nice abacus. Are these called like a similar to abacus board? Is that what you would call these? Right. So counting devices. I, 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 I like them. I like the idea of having stuff like that around a house for a child. Now these are 30 piece packs of your, your soft sports type balls. All right. Really cool. So if you have a, a space that the child can use like a mini ball pit or something like that, these are fun. Lots of fun. They're safe. They're, they're not uh, breakable. They don't have air in them. They can't burst in that type of way. So very nice. Bowling ball set with pins. Uh, disc golf. Now, the way that the disc golf game works, guys, if you've never heard of it, is that you set up these little flags so you know th those flags are the various holes of a golf course. And then you throw the discs over the rings. So like horseshoe tossing, but with rings. So it's a fun game that the kids can get into. Beach toys. Buckets with... with um, the things that you mold the sandcastles with. That's what I wanted to say. Shovels, rakes, that kind of stuff. Really, really fun. I have always loved Beach Toys and I also like the fact that it comes in its own bucket. Beach Toys with a bucket. So they can, you encourage the kids to pack up their own stuff. They can go scoop the water from the beach and just throw it onto unsuspecting siblings. Good times will be had by all. All right, kids cosplay career costumes. Now, I love this. I like the idea of the kids dressing up, but only if this is what they're interested in, guys. I think we see a lot of people put their kids in the stuff that they like. Let the kids decide. If you know your child loves the idea of being into construction, then get them a really nice construction cosplay. And if you don't know the term cosplay, guys, cosplay is an amalgamation of the word costume and play. And so cosplay, cool? So costume style play. I like this. It comes with the whole kit. So you have your, um, your stethoscope, stethoscope, <laughs> and your, your uh, various tools that a doctor uses, thermometer, the reflex checking thing, so you hit them on the knee and they kick the legs out. I see a thermometer as well in there. Really, really nice set with all kinds of different stuff. Again, continue with the outdoor toy theme, which I really like. You have your um, tennis style rackets with your favorite characters on them. Now, this, talk about this. This is technically a kid's game, but this is a lot of fun even for the adults. You guys get out there, have some fun. I like this because if you're playing on a beach, this is actually a, a plastic board. So if it gets into the water, you don't have to worry about the wood swelling or being damaged. This is a really great gift. Um, I might actually buy this for my brother for Christmas. Here's your gift, bro. <laughs> right, putting that back. And this is awesome. Now, at first glance, you may not know what this is, but this is a craftable airplane, guys. So you slide this into the, the, the back part of the, the main chassis of the plane. You slide this, the bigger wing goes to the top. And now you have a soaring airplane. This is a lot of fun. Make sure you're not playing this near any roadways. You don't want the kids to be throwing this out and they're running into the road, guys. Let's keep our kids safe this Christmas. But we have some great styles in this. It's a very affordable toy, very fun. Throw plane with a light. So it has a spot now. Uh, it has a light on the top, uh, LED strip. Put a battery in there, turn it on, and you get lights on the top. So very fun for the kids. Play sets, cooking sets, and more of the toy activity sport type sets. And I really, again, I'm, I'm, I'm reiterating guys, I love this type of toy. I like the idea of kids being active. I was a very active youth, if I do say so myself. I was not very good at any of the sports I did, but I tried them all. And that's okay. You don't have to be great at it as long as you're enjoying yourself. That's what I told myself for years and I continue to tell myself today. Good. Moving on. Oh my goodness. If I had time and I, and I think I would open this up for you and show you, yo-yos are a ton of fun. And I did get into a lot of trouble breaking things belonging to my mother playing with yo-yos in her house. But they're still a lot of fun. Golf sets. Oh, if you're you know, a child at my time, we didn't have Fruit Ninja, we had this. This is what we had, this is all we had with cutting fruits, and this is also a very educational game. Uh, so guys, what happens is that the uh, two halves have Velcro and they stick together, and you can use a knife to cut them like you're preparing uh, a meal with your, your child. And that's a lot of fun, you know, that's a lot of fun. And you don't have to worry about them being on the stove and risking burning themselves. You don't want that problem. Now, this is the section that my son would absolutely lose his mind. This is where we have vehicles, I'm gonna call it that. So, cars, trucks, motorcycles, little girls on ATVs. <laughs> so,
So we have it all, guys, at, in various values, various styles, various colors. Uh, these are not the RC, the remote control vehicles yet. We haven't seen those, but these are just the, the regular friction or push vehicles. Um, my son actually has this one right now. <laughs> and good fun to be had. Uh, encourage play. All right, guys. So we're talking about the, the bucket truck and, and, and they can put their own toys in. They can drive the toys around the house or outside. It's a lot of fun. They can spend some time with that. And the precision water games. If you know these, you know how either frustrating or triumphant you can feel when you play these games. We have lots of them, guys. Uh, very affordable. So you guys can come and check them out for yourself. Get them for a kid. Put them in a stocking this Christmas. It'll make people very, very happy. Now looking down here, I like this. It's a little military house. It's assemblable. Um, I'm looking for the thought enlightening, improved color perception, improved activity, improved vision. So you can use this either on the beach, indoors or outdoors. Really cool. So you put it together with your child and they have a little playhouse, a military style playhouse that they can enjoy. And let's look at this thing. This is not quite a toy, but there are parents who might be very interested in this. Uh, it does have a little pocket there. This is an, a kid's playing enclosure. I can't stress how useful this can be. Okay, I used one of these when my son was, was, was at this age and it is very great. If you don't, or you're going somewhere, you have space in your home, you can set up an enclosed playing area to keep them safe from, you know, if you don't want to, or you can't baby proof an entire area, maybe you have sharp things around the house and you could just set them in here. It's bigger than your standard play pen and they have full area to run about. You can put your toys in there, they can enjoy it. Or you're going somewhere, guys, it's how small it folds into. And this thing, I'm looking for a size dimension on it, but it's not quite easy to find. Oh, there it is. There you go. So the enclosure size, 60 centimeters tall, 134 centimeters. That is just about four feet wide. I think I'm right, 100 centimeters is three feet. There you go. So another 30 centimeters. Yes, four feet. That's a, that's a good size inside. So they have four feet of play area inside. You can take it to the beach, take it to the grandparents' house, and there's a safe place, especially if maybe there are allergens around. Maybe there are dogs or cats in a space that you don't know if your kids are, are allergic or you know you want to have a safe playing environment for them that is an excellent choice continuing to look at more toys we have come back up the level we have your building block sets these will never go out of style because building blocks are the building blocks <laughs> see what i did there of children to learn various types of things construction engineering problem solving all these things happen through the use of building blocks and the creative play again very very important so come and check those out for yourself guys um, your warrior play sets your various types of military play sets trains of music and lights and i want to draw your attention to one particular thing guys let's try and follow this this year guys the, a lot of the toys will have an age recommendation on it and that is to ensure the safety of the child a lot of these things will have small parts small pieces that are choking hazards so you want to exercise caution in what you are giving your youngster to play with, okay? We have the dolls, we have the, the, the various types of dolls that you would, you know, see in popular media right now, I'm saying it that way. So you have your favorite characters that you want your children to be playing with for this season. We have them for you, great gifts. Coming down to another thing I am very fond of, these will be the games. So the games like Snakes and Ladders, Ludo, these games are great all family fun that is a very big play mat that the kids can be playing on as well and that's great okay get get involved guys a lot of people parents make the mistake of they give the child a toy huh? you go play with that no man that's not the right way get involved spend the time with your children in that game christmas is not just about giving toys and leading to their devices spend that time bonding with the child over the christmas season you will be very 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 glad that you did okay Looking around now, we're talking about, uh, we mentioned the, the game. So Connect 4 is here, chess and checkers. Your musical toys, can I tell you? Musical toys, man. It is the genesis of something fantastic. If you can encourage the music in your child. Music is beautiful. Music is wonderful. A lot of you guys know I am myself a musician and I'm very glad I can impart that to my, my children. <laughs> All right, so we have different types of music toys all about learning, all about getting into that, that music. All kids have this thing where they innately dance to stuff. So music helps to build that up, yeah? Coming down again, we're seeing some more of the larger toys, uh, tea set, beauty play sets, 
uh, a three-in-one play board, so like a learning center again, featuring your favorite characters. And we continue to, to encourage that type of involvement. Let's talk about this. I like this. So it is a big um, tent style car with play area inside. So you can throw the, those same um, safe balls inside of it. it, includes 50 balls. And the kids can play inside. You can have a lot of fun with other children or on their own. Uh, again, with, with so much to do. So this is just some of the Christmas stuff, guys. We have puzzles, we have doctor play sets, we have nurse play sets, we have, I mentioned the puzzles, but here they are. Children's puzzles. Now, it, I'm not good at puzzles, but I like the idea of this because after they put it together, then they can color it themselves. So that's two levels of creativity and problem solving you're getting in one gift set. And do this with your kids, guys. Get them to engage in the puzzle making together with you and you can really have some fun. Here we have a Disney Cars version of the other uh, what do we call it? The ice cream candy car that we saw earlier. We have more. Oh, good. See, this is what I was talking about. So you have a, a play area where you can put the safe balls inside and the child can play in there. A little ball pit. And it's also we have the, the ball pit one with a little basketball thing. And we have the tent. So this is a lot of fun. And you can add a basketball hoop for your play section. This is tons of fun for your young kids to get involved in for the Christmas season. And we look towards the end, you're seeing some bath toys. And ah, this is really cool and a little soccer toy game set. So like I said, guys, this is just some. It is one very, very long aisle of just some of the toys we will be having for the Christmas season at all Bashka locations. And if, you know, this is for your kids or whatever, but we can't, you've been seeing it as I walked in, I can't not mention we have some absolutely beautiful lamps available for your home, for a gift for someone else's home. See, great gift any occasion. Christmas gift ideas, anyone? These are great options for you. Come and see them for yourselves, guys. In fact, come see all this for yourself. This is just some, like I keep saying. Guys, we have mirrors, we have wall decor, we have tons of stuff that you can use to beautify your home for Christmas. And that will also make very, 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 very festive gift ideas for the season. We have luggage if you're traveling for the Christmas season. So come and check out, go to any of the Bashko locations, guys. And remember, Follow us on all of your social media feeds as well at www.facebook.com slash B-A-S-H-C-O uh, on Facebook, at Bashko Jamaica on Instagram and Twitter, and me at Omar Bashko. As we continue in the Christmas season, guys, we know there's more you want to see. We know there's more you guys want to know if we have in stock. So I tell you what, we will be going next to our Bashko Spanish Town location to give you an idea of some of the grocery style Christmas shopping that you can be doing for the season. You can be seeing all the stuff you can use as gift ideas and also seeing, of course, that this stuff, this beautiful, beautiful stuff is not just in Orange Street, but is also in our other locations. So if you go to Montego Bay, you're going to see it. If you go to Maypen, you're going to see it. And we're going to show you next time you see us that we will also have them in Spanish town. So guys, thank you for being with us. Like I said, again, uh, let's talk about what we saw today. We started in the beautiful Christmas decoration aisle with Christmas trees and uh, decoration uh, ornaments, lights. We saw the brand new falling stars, what we call it, falling star LED strips that you can use for a variety of purposes. We saw the new small furniture, the, the comeback ends of the bedside table. We saw the kitchen style cabinets, the white cabinets. We saw the brown with the gray silver on the lower, the, the small type of cabinets. We saw the chest of drawers in the brown and the white. And we magically took you over to see the standing wardrobe that matched that same style. We were able to see the cube style bookshelf. We saw the bookcase that has the palm seal of approval to also be used as a bar, which I did not think of at all. Uh, we saw the very nice white clean line cabinet that you can use for a bookcase or for your uh, kitchen stuff, so your glassware, your festive stuff as well. You can decorate that for Christmas if you want. You can make it a toy cabinet if you wanted for the Christmas season. Uh, we saw another chest of drawers that was very nice, clean lines again, no pulls for uh, safety for your kids as well. And then we also saw the very modular system. We came over here, we saw a bevy of toys and beautiful things you can get for your kids and I also Prips you guys on your lamps. And I told you that we're going to be in Spanish Town next time. So I hope to see you next time in Spanish Town. I am Omar from Bashko, and we will indeed see you in the next Christmas episode. Bashko time! Christmas time on Christmas! Many things to buy. Let Bashko help you out. With Trump's those I don't want. Furniture and rugs. Lights and Christmas trees. Bashko, you can find all of the Christmas trees.
Linens and appliances, yeah, Bashful's got it all. Toys and gifts and picture frames to decorate your wall. Stereos and TVs to this season, that's for sure. Christmas is affordable at the store that gives you more. Bashful, the store that gives you more.